Time for another review. We're doing a gel detergent. Tesco Orange Blossom and Pomegranate Biological Laundry Gel. Let's put it to the test and see how well it works. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. Okay, so this is another store brand detergent test. Quite like doing these. Um, so you get, it's a 24 wash bottle or container. It's gel, so not liquid, not powder. It's an orange blossom and pomegranate fragrance. It's quite nice actually from Tesco's own brand, supermarket in store brand. And it tells you here it's biological as well. And of course with all like gels, you use this um, cartridge on top. So, it's a nice orange colour, I'll get, I'll get it to rise to the surface. There you go. It's got quite a nice pleasant smell to it. So it's 24 washes, depending on your dosage of course. It's created with fragrance experts and it's fast acting for a quicker wash, meaning it will dissolve better in cold water. It's what they do with all detergents now. Here are your dosing instructions. Not recommended for hand washing either. You can buy from Tesco and other brands, um, especially dedicated hand wash liquid. Not pre wash, yeah. That's it. It is corrosive. That's what your warning symbol is there. I can state that I have actually had gel on me. Uh, on my skin before and it has not been very pleasant and you get 720 millilitres in this bit of an odd sort of measurement we're going to put it to the test on this duvet cover that I no longer use because it's a single duvet cover got all different types of stains got some cosmetic stains and some food stains oil based as well some really hard stains to get out done a 40 degree cycle and we'll see the results after now I know in a lot of my reviews for detergents I've put conditioner in but we're not going to do this for this one. Not just to test the rinsing performance, but also to check whether the fragrance really does stay in this. Because I've known Tesco stuff to be quite good on their fragrances with the powder. But let's see how well the gel works. I've not really ever used gel, so this will be interesting. Let's go. Of course, your dosing will differ depending on load size um, and your water hardness. The, the dosage on the back is for four to five kilogram. We're only doing about 1.5 kilogram wash here, plus, but we do need a little extra for water hardness. So I'm going to do about 15 millilitres in there. That's even below the, the first fill line. So see, it comes out like that, quite runny. And that there is about 15 millilitres. Very little amount. You place the dosing cap on top of your wash load. So unlike with pods that you throw into the wash before you put your load in, you put your load in first, and then. Now, to show that I'm not actually using any conditioner. See, nothing in there. Okay, that does need a bit of a clean. So I'm gonna select my cycle. Standard 40 cycle. It'll adjust for everything. Water plus. Um, yeah. Should we do water plus three rinses? What do machines of today do? They do. Yeah, let's not do water plus actually because it's three rinses. All the machines of today do. All the machines today do two rinses really. So we'll do that and see what happens. Let's go. Brief video. This is just after the very start of the wash, so gel does get quite salty because it dissolves a lot quicker than powder does in, into the wash. Um, we are doing a lighter load. That's why I haven't selected water plus, so we don't do a top up. We use very minimal water for this, so yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how just how this works. Also, when we do put it in the dryer, um, I'm not going to use a dryer sheet, so we're just testing how well this will 
Let's see what we're with the mode. There we go. Now I've cut down half an hour on that. They're going to start heating up to 40. Now normally with uh, detergents, the enzymes are most, mostly active at 40. So this is the results uh, after heating and we're onto the, like, the distribution tumbles. Um, liquid and gels do tend to foam up a bit more than powders, but um, no, I mean, we'll see how the rinsing is going to do in this. But yeah, don't be, don't be like put off by any of this because uh, it often does rinse out very well. One thing, uh, when uh, you've done as many reviews as I have and tested out loads of detergents, one thing like you, you get to realise is the performance and pros and cons of each type of detergent. I find that with powders they foam up less, or sometimes they foam up, yeah, they, they foam up less, but sometimes can be harder to rinse out. Whereas with liquid, I find it foams up a lot but it's easier to rinse out. Again, it depends on the machine and how much water gets used. When I heard the Hoover 6, I uh, did a review in that, I found that um, yeah, it was harder to rinse because it didn't use enough water. So it really depends on that and your water hardness. Or if it's soft water, you'll have to dose even less because of how much foam that will create. It was really interesting. So first rinse performance, uh, still some suds present, it would be in the first rinse, but it'd be interesting to see after the next intermediate spin plus the uh, final rinse will do. So we'll just see what happens then and then, uh, yeah, we seem to be doing quite good though. No over on the spins or anything, but we'll see. You see that we uh on the final rinse, so there are still suds present. There's no fabric conditioner in this. So you're seeing the true rinsing performance of this this uh, gel. Considering that load is not very absorbent either, that's telling you though hmm, the rinse performance might not be the best. Still, there's less than when we started in the main wash, and less than when we on the first rinse. We've used a very low dosing in there as well for the low size soiling. We've used less than the recommended amount. Alright, time for the first fragrance check. So I think the yep, the cap so cap comes out. Oh it smells like orange Fanta or Tango. It smells really nice, and that's just the detergent on its own. Right, see if that contains that fragrance after the dryer. All right, the final fragrance test after some time in the dryer. Let's see how we did. I use these dryer balls as well. Very good. So, dry. Okay, so. Lost a bit of the fragrance, but still there. Okay, how do we do for the stains? So, I can see it's all disappeared, barring the nail polish, uh, nail varnish. That's the only one that has it, but it has, it has attempted to remove it. So maybe a higher temperature wash would have done that better. I can always rewash that. But overall, it's not done too bad. Uh, I do feel this fragrance could be a bit stronger after the dryer, but hey, that some of that happens. Uh, but the performance, considering that was only at 40 degrees Celsius and not at 60 or 95, I reckon that'll do a bit better. 
maybe with a bit of vanish oxygen action or so. Um, because I've had nail varnish before that's been able to come off from other detergents, but no, that's done pretty well. So I'll put a conclusion in now. So as a conclusion on this product, uh, I think it's, for its value, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, a lot of people I know are quite conspicuous about purchasing store branded products, not just detergents, but anything food um, but I personally to myself think there's nothing wrong with it it's nice to actually support the brand of the store a lot of detergents that I have found through doing not just the reviews but my whole time of of using them is I find that sometimes you're just paying for the brand uh, on some of these high high-end detergents and that's why you're paying more of a price you're paying it for more for a well-known brand than you are for the actual performance of it um, I mean I've used Tesco's powder before I've used I think I've used their liquid before but um, I've, I've honestly I've got the tablets as well the powder tablets and I find everything comes out really soft uh, gel on the other hand is something a product I don't often tend to use I'm not really fond of having to put it in the drum I prefer putting powder in the drawer the traditional way but for trying out this product um, I don't remember how much I paid for this I think it was about £2.50 or £3 but that's one thing about it so it, it's it's cheap so you, you can't expect the best performance but you get what you pay for sometimes with tesco you will be able to get uh stuff cheaper with your club card but the detergents this wasn't available on it um i specifically did a detergent that's not a re review of a fabric conditioner as well because in a day fabric conditioner can be anything you like but in theory i think that it's done quite well on this bedding I mean, yeah, I mean, for, for what you pay for, it's, I mean, the rinsing performance, okay, might have been a bit, bit, you know, sudsy, but I think gel and liquid, you do, you do tend to get a lot of suds anyway, whereas powder tends to, I, powder is, it takes longer to dissolve in the wash, especially at lower temperatures, but at lower temperatures, liquid and gels are better because they, they um, dissolve quicker. But uh, just a word of warning, if you do decide to use gel, please make sure you do use uh, high temperature cycles now and again and a maintenance wash because gel leaves behind a kind of residue in the machine and it's known to cause mould. Um, but no, there's nothing wrong with using it in your machine. So yeah, I mean, I would say go for it. The Tesco do other fragrances. They do, so this is biological which also works better at lower temperatures. When you get non-biological, the blue cat one, it works better at higher temperatures, but it's also for sensitive skin. So there's one thing better I find with them, they tend to rinse out better. So yeah, good value for money. Very nice fragrance, considering it's a basic brand. And, you know, easy to use bottle, you've got the cap on top, you know, you squirt it into the, you've got a measuring gauge on there. I'd say, yeah. Definitely go for it. I'll put a link in the description below. And for those with club card points, club card members, yep, please support Tesco with this brand. Hope you enjoyed this review. And we'll definitely have some more things to review. And I got this done in time just before we get a storm over here, because I believe the UK is about to be hit by a storm. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.